G'day, it's Nigel here from Saxcool. You know, we're helping thousands of saxophone players every day, but the thing that blows my mind constantly is how our members are connecting together and doing exciting projects. I mean, just think about it. It was only a few years ago that a saxophone player in England could never collaborate with somebody in Singapore and do recordings together. But that's exactly what Janet and Alice are doing inside our Saxical membership right now. So today I'm having a talk with Janet and Alice to find out about their new YouTube project, The Saxation Duo, and how they're using the community within Sax School to really boost their own playing and their progress and also have a whole lot of fun. So let's dig into this interview and I'll catch you up at the end. So Janet and Alice, great to see you two here. Thanks for joining me for this call today. You too. I know, Janet, you've been with us for about five years, right, with Sax School. So maybe just before we talk about the project, what sort of things were you looking to improve in your playing when you first joined Sax School like five years ago? I think it was just to try something different. Um, so I was initially self taught, and then a friend recommended me Sax School. So I did signed up and had a look, see what there was. And it was just great to have all the different style of song choices. Um, to work on and it also gives you like a focus because there's like certain areas that you can work on and I thought well nobody's taught me properly about vibrato so I looked under the you know the lesson on that to start with and, and work from there really it's just good that you can pick and choose what you want to do and then you can spend as much time on it and do it at your own pace yeah that's really interesting to hear actually because you i mean both of you are quite advanced players so it's interesting to hear the way that you're using the resources to improve the specific things that you're looking for was it the same kind of thing with you alice because you've been with us for about three years but obviously you've been playing for a really long time what sort of things were you uh, looking for? not really <laughs> I, I, yeah, I started learning music in Jan, january 2020 January 2019. Yeah. But you play so, so well. Uh, you play so well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I joined Sax School in, I think, November 2019. I took some private lessons and I often browse YouTube and try to learn new techniques, new. And I came across your video. I said, hey, ha, I like Nigel, you know, <laughs> the way he <laughs> will play. Oh, uh, wow. Well. So then I came across Sax School and then, then I joined. Your progress is amazing. And I also love the way both of you have really taken hold of the community aspect to Sax School, which is something I, I, I'm always encouraging people to do. And I love to see our members getting involved with you two are just taking that to a whole nother level. So I've really enjoyed all of the collaboration projects that you've been doing. But I'm curious to know, how was it at the start when you began doing collaboration projects? Well, I think you approached me, didn't you, and asked if I'd like to do a duet. Janet put out a, a fantastic video on, she played Golden, Hour, uh, Golden Hours by Dave Koss. So I, I like, I love Dave Koss, right? I said, like, oh, amazing. Um, so I, I reached out to Janet, right? Hey, can you share the score with me? Then I initiated, hey, why don't we do a duet, right? A Chinese song. That was the first song we did. Yeah, then we we one after another. <laughs> yeah, you've done loads now, haven't you? And you've you've done ones together. You've also done ones with other people. Like right? there's been some bigger projects with with lots of people. So yeah. uh, for people that are looking to do a collaboration like this, because for most people it'll probably blow their mind that you two ah oh, let's just get together and play something together, and then you put it all together. But there's a lot of steps in there. So can you break down the process of that? Does it normally start with one of you? writing an arrangement or sourcing the music what's the first step yeah we decide i suppose what song we're going to do and then which either one of us normally it's usually for a single saxophone player that there's occasional duets that we've found but then we'll work through the music and i'll try and add a harmony because i'm trying i quite enjoying doing that side of things now trying to develop the range side and then we take it in turns who does the first recording and then sends it to the other person to add their part to it once we've got the audio mixed we then do a video and usually in front of a green screen nowadays and uh yeah. put the video together listen to you guys right so green screens audio <laughs> recording the video let me put, we put it all together it's just a piece of cake <laughs> Like, can you imagine uh, how you'd feel about that a few years ago oh. when that was all new to you? During lockdown, 
Um, mm. That was when I started to put the videos together and I shouted so much at my computer, <laughs> learning, watching YouTube videos, figuring out how to do it. I mean... I'm quite basic on what I can do. Alice can do more effects than I can uh, do. No, I started at the same time during the lockdown time in 2020, right? I didn't know how to do video editing at all, audio editing. So I started learning this bit by bit. And Would coincidentally, you... Janet and I use the same software, uh, Filmora. So... Well, somebody who was brand new to that whole thing, would you say Filmora is a good tool to be using then? Would you recommend they use that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to use. Yeah, for new... <laughs> new uh newbie like us <laughs> yeah <laughs> but both of you have learned a lot of production skills which really was never really the intention it but it's wonderful how that's blossomed into something that loads of our members are doing now now they know what green screens are and you know <laughs> split screens and filming and editing lots of stuff together yeah but it's also wonderful to see that you guys are experimenting with doing some uh, arranging as well. So Janet, when you do that, when you're writing a harmony part, do you actually write it out or do you do it by ear? What's your process? I'll normally record the whole thing and then I'll play that back as I'm playing. And I usually start with thirds are a good start. So either a third above or a third below and then play along to that and then see what works and what doesn't. So obviously, depending on the chord structure, thirds don't always work. So then it's just a case of playing around um and seeing what fits wow and then you just refine and get the final product yeah. and then when you've got the final um uh, harmony arrangement then do you do you ever go to the point of writing it out or do you just learn it no i do write it out wow wow you're doing the whole thing that's really yeah. awesome okay so yeah, awesome. yeah yeah do you do some of that as well alice do you try uh do you do some arranging and writing out harmonies yes <laughs> i did um uh, I did a song lately, uh, The Shadow of Your Smile. Oh, I did a, a bit of harmony, or uh, uh, one part of it. I, uh, Of course, I consulted Janet and she gave me lots of constructive and then I, you know, kind of improve it. Acceptable, I think. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, good for you. That's fantastic. I mean, I love the whole yeah. process of learning when it, when it is it part of a project, right? So it's such a more fun way to learn than you know you could have gone and tried to work out all the editing or all of the arranging or all those other things but when you're doing them in a project and you've got a purpose for learning it i think you learn faster and it's a lot more fun and, and yeah, yeah exactly yeah yeah i can see mm. you guys benefiting from that but i want to talk about your youtube project so you've done a lot of these collaborations but now you're starting to collect them together on your saxation duo youtube channel and it's wonderful to see most recently you've posted a video where you've actually got the music on there as well. Whole nother level of video editing there. And yeah. uh, these are like tutorial videos. So what's the plan for the channel? I, I thought one day I thought, oh, we have Jenna and I had uh, done a couple of videos and, and don't go to waste, right? I mean, these are the talents, right? And don't go to waste. And then why not we start a, a YouTube channel to do, like, collect all this uh, video together and we share. Right, that's, what, that's how I came up with, I shared with Jenna our idea to make interactive score so the players can, can play along with us. That's, we have fun and then other people also have, can have fun playing together with us. So that's the intention of starting this, this channel. Right, right. Janet? <laughs> yes, because yeah. a lot of people, if they can't join bands and groups and things like that it can be quite lonely just playing on your own and i think if you've got these interactive ones going at least then they can have a go at playing with other people and it's yes. yeah. a bit more fuller than just playing the piece on your own yeah, yeah. plus you're sharing all the stuff that you're doing you know, you're you're doing all this like you say alice you're doing all this hard work so how wonderful is it to then also not just produce a video for yourself, but produce something that other people can benefit from too. Oh, it's really yes, exactly. Yeah, one thing I find when we play in duet, our timing must be absolutely accurate. So that's how that's why I, I suggested do an interactive score so people can follow and get the timing right. Oh, brilliant. Well, look, I'm really excited to see how it goes and, how, you know, the, the 
new content you're going to put on there and how it uh, grows as well how how more people find out about it we'll certainly be sharing it inside sax school we've got thousands of people in there that i'm sure would love to be looking at your videos so that's exciting just before we go though i'd love to know from both of you maybe you can start with you janet i as a teacher i love seeing the development in your playing and your musicality and your connections and everything uh while you've been with sax school but i'm curious to know from your perspective like what's the thing that's been the best benefit to you i suppose of being a sax school member um i think it's been able to have the communication with the whole group um certainly the facebook page and how everybody supports each other putting the posts on facebook and everything i think definitely builds up your confidence it certainly has for me now I mean, I do, I'm fortunate to play with other bands, so that does help as well. But just like now I'm trying to focus a bit, like on the improvisation side. I mean, like last night I just had a gig with the band and I just stood up and I played a blue scale improv solo. Um, and the band lady says, oh, that's you coming along now. And I thought it's, it's just little things like that that just boost your confidence. And once you start doing it, it just wants you to make you progress. That's awesome. That's awesome, Janet. And what awesome. about for you, Alice? Has it been the community as well? Or what, what things has, has been the standout? Oh, I, I share the same experience. Um, of course, I enjoy the wide variety of songs in the Sax School Library. And I particularly enjoy the you know communication and collection with the uh, Sax School members in the community. And uh, that... That really gave me a um, motivation to keep on going because me, I'm alone here. <laughs> it motivates me to, to, to uh, play better. I want to play better. I want to keep up with the side school members, especially when I do collaboration with uh, other members. I, I have to make sure I play. <laughs> I play better and I could uh, live up to their expectations. So that's that's a drive there, yeah. That's. To be honest with you, that's I think yes, Alice, yeah. we're all trying to keep up with you. I think that's the reality of the situation. But anyway, oh, no. <laughs> I'm still learning. Janet is fantastic. Yeah, she taught me a lot of skills and gave me a lot of uh, uh, feedback. That's, I I learned a lot from Janet. Yeah. Yes, yeah, isn't that wonderful though, right? So you know, learning from each other. Uh, and, and that happens across the community. Uh, there's so many great players in there. So yeah, wonderful. Hey, look, I'm so proud of you too. I think you're doing wonderful stuff. So keep working on that thank channel you. and I can't wait to see the next videos that you, you come up with on there. Well, yeah, there. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. I love their story. It's really inspiring to hear what Janet and Alice are doing, but there are so many other students in SAC school that are doing similar things and this could be your story as well, because I'm sure you've got a goal. Maybe that's to do something like Janet and Alice starting a YouTube channel, but it could just be learning a few songs to play for yourself or for your family and friends. Whatever your goals are, to get there, you really need to have the right lessons, the right support from tutors, and that community around you that Janet and Alice were talking about to really get that goal going. And if you want to check out how SAC School can help you with all of that, right now we are running a 14-day trial. So if you use the link below here, you can get started with that. It's a brilliant way to see what we're doing inside SAC School and to start to get some help from our tutors, connect with the community and see what amazing things you could do with your playing too. So if you're curious, go check the link out. I'd love to start helping you inside SAC School. But most importantly, have a think today about what you can do with your playing to really start to get something amazing going. I'll catch you on the next video.